We're going to be tagging a manta ray this morning. Hello, Sada Sar, please. I'm at Maori Rest. I have three divers in the water. To see it come from that to now being shown as being one of the healthier reefs on the entire Great Barrier Reef is an amazing story. The whole process of um, growing stuff out here is so different to what you see on the mainland. Okay, so we all know Lady Elliot Island. It's in Queensland, Australia. It's on the southern end of the Great Barrier Reef. But what are its stories that aren't really being told? Wait, wait, there it is. So we're turning on the satellite tag so it's ready to go. Well, last October we actually put out some temperature loggers. They're actually called hobo loggers and they track temperature every couple of minutes on the reef flat. Who are its guardians? I have been a master reef guide for the last year. And I think personally, there's something so special about having a wild animal like look you in the eye. And what cool stuff is really going on behind the scenes on this little island in the sea. Hey, I see you got a fishing rod on Lady Elliot. Isn't this a green zone? It certainly is a green zone and we're certainly not doing any fishing. From tracking its apex predators, to looking into where life begins. There they are. Oh my god, that's a cute. That's a mantis shrimp. Oh, that's a, a mantis shrimp. That's a baby mantis shrimp. And at low tide, when when the water is very low, one of the top predators on the reef becomes the epaulet shark. That's a good one. We've grabbed some cameras and set out to find the people who are learning, sharing the experience, and living life on the reef. This will be for the tiger. 